All right, I gotta be honest here, guys. I definitely lied in the title. <laughs> it's not my top 10 favorite spring palettes. It's actually 11 because truly, I couldn't take one of these out. I really wanted to talk about each of these palettes, but 10 just looks better. You know what I mean? So... We'll say it's the top 10, but it's actually 11. Anyways, who's counting? Doesn't matter. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 favorite eyeshadow palettes for spring. So if you are interested in seeing what I picked out, then just keep watching. I couldn't help but make another video all about palettes. It's what you guys love that I talk about most. It's what I love talking about most. I wanted to bring out some of my favorite palettes for spring because so many times I'll talk about a palette and I'm like, oh, this would be beautiful for spring. I picked my top favorites for you guys that I think would be really fun for you to wear this time of year. Obviously, you can wear whatever colors you want. I mean, right now, I'm not even wearing spring eyeshadow. I'm wearing my cool tone neutrals that I always wear with a brighter spring lip. Never feel limited to what you can wear during the season. It is really fun fun sometimes to bring those spring vibes out, especially when we're stuck in the house. This is in no particular order. If you are curious about some of my favorite spring makeup items, I did do a video where I picked out 10 of my favorite spring makeup items that aren't eyeshadow palettes except for one, but this one is all about eyeshadow palettes. So I will link that video down below, but let's get into the actual palette. So the first one is the one that I talked about in the video I just mentioned because I did want to feature one eyeshadow palette, but I do want to talk about it here, and that is the Vizzy Art Koi palette. I just love this palette for spring. The colors here scream Easter, absolutely. I mean, as you can see, you have all types of different pastel colors, you have bright pops of color, and then you have some more neutral wearable shades, I would say. This is an all shimmer palette. It's going to pair with any good matte palette, but I love this palette for a wash of color. I think one of my favorite trends for spring is just doing a wash of a pastel shade all over your lid and nothing else, and this is the perfect palette to do that with. However, if you are looking for some intense intensity from these shades, I would recommend putting a base down underneath. If you want a really blue eye, put a navy underneath this. Putting a black shadow underneath these guys are going to give you a beautiful green smoky eye. I do have a video where I show you how these shadows layer under different colored bases, so if you are curious in seeing that video, I would highly recommend it because it really gives you a guide on how to get the most out of this palette, but for spring, I think it's perfect and you can really customize what type of look you want, and I just love Viseart and I love the cool palette. This is an underrated palette in my opinion just because it really has so much to offer. Had to start off with that but you guys have already seen that if you saw my video. So let's move on to the next item which was posted in yesterday's video but truly I think it's an amazing palette for spring. This is the Morphe 35i Ice Fantasy palette. I don't talk about Morphe too much on my channel but they're kind of my guilty pleasure to buy. I'm not gonna lie because I really love big palettes with a lot of shades. Now this palette in particular I really like for spring because it really inspires me to step outside of my box and this is all pastels baby like beautiful icy pastel shades this palette has it and truly I feel like this palette is very unique there's so many palettes from Morphe where I'm telling you they are not unique but this is one where I could actually justify purchasing because I don't own a lot of pastels in my collection pastels truly are a trend this spring so I wanted to give those pastel looks a try and that's why I purchased this palette if you are interested in seeing me create a pastel look using this palette. It was my previous video posted so you can see these colors in action, but I think that this is perfect for the purpose that I bought it because I'm not wearing pastels very often and, you know, pastels aren't my go-to, so I wanted an affordable option that let me have that creative outlet and to see how I really feel about pastels, and that was what this guy was for me. I won't say it's amazing quality. It's not. There definitely are better pastel shades that I have worked with and that you can purchase, but for the amount of different shades you're getting to play with for the price. It truly is awesome, especially if you're not going to use these colors a lot. So I don't think the quality in here is bad. I do find some of the shades to be inconsistent. Some just work better on the eyes than others. They run a bit powdery and you do have to actually pack on the shade because it, they will blend away because they are so powdery. But you really can make these work if you use a white base underneath or something a little bit more tacky. You can get the most out of this palette and it's not great quality, but it's good for the price. It truly is. You can make it work and for me it's just really a unique color scheme.
theme and I really wanted to play with pastels. I think this is a really great option if you are looking for pastel shades to add into your collection, but they're not going to be <laughs> used every single day. I like this palette. I think it's fine. I think it got the job done. So I have two eyeshadow palettes from Huda Beauty that I wanted to mention. The first one is the Huda Beauty Nude Light Palette. Now there are three different tones of this little palette, but the light in particular I find to be perfect for spraying. I think for every day I prefer the medium version of this, but the light version is absolutely beautiful for the spring season. The looks that I come up with this palette tend to pull very pink, which I think is really pretty. I don't think that's a bad thing. So I can see myself reaching for these tones this spring. I love pinks and purples and pastels. That's kind of my ideal when it comes to spring eyeshadow, and this palette really brings it in a wearable format. So I think if you're looking to bring spring vibes into your makeup looks, but you're not so adventurous, this is the perfect palette to go to. You have a nice pop of lavender in here, and then you have different tones of rose and pinks and mauves in here. So I just think this is a perfect everyday palette for the spring season. It's just so light and fresh looking on the eyes, and I really enjoy the quality of this palette as well. So I have nothing but good things to say about this. You know, of the three that released with this, this one is my least favorite, but seasonal-wise, this is perfect, and it's probably going to be the most used for me this season. The other one that I had to talk about, which is probably my favorite Huda palette, this is the Mercury Retrograde palette. This gives me straight up Easter vibes, specifically for this top row up here. So you have really fun, light pastel shades in this palette, and I love the different textures and dimension that you can get with this palette. Overall, you can get very similar looks in this that you can get with Nude Light, but of course there's much more variety in here. This is a very light palette. You're not getting a lot of dimension once again, unless you're playing around with these two colors, but this has a really great range of light colors that you can go for, and you can really switch it up. You have a beautiful purple section, a blue section. I love this palette. I find it to be extremely unique, and I think there's just so many fun ways to play with it during the season. Of course, it's great for every season, but <sighs> this one in particular makes me feel inspired for the spring to create really pretty looks. This is one of my favorite palettes from Huda also. It's a unique palette in my collection, and it has very unique formulas that I love. Had to mention this one in here. Next, let's move on to ColourPop. Now, honestly, I could have made a whole video on my top 10 favorite spring palettes from ColourPop because ColourPop has so many beautiful palettes that would be perfect for this time of year. And I originally pulled out like five and I was like, I'm not about to make a top 10 video with five ColourPop products. So I narrowed it down to my top two palettes from ColourPop that I'll probably be rocking this season. And the first one, I've been waiting to put this palette in a spring video. This is the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. This is one of my favorite palettes from ColourPop to begin with. This is a time of year to pull it out, you guys. Definitely recommend you purchase this palette. If you love peachy pink eyeshadows, this is what you're going to want to purchase. It's a great price. It's great quality. You get a lot of different finishes in here. I love this shade right here because it's a super shock formula. You have a couple pressed glitters, which I know some of you aren't fans of pressed glitters because technically they aren't eye safe. Because of that, I do try and stay away from pressed glitters, but sometimes, I will admit, I put down a little bit of glitter glue on my eye and press them on and I just do, okay? Personally, I'm not turned off by the glitters. I would have preferred maybe some more super shock formulas in here, but that's okay. And it's just a really great, well-rounded palette. I think it's very easy to use, very easy to create a look with, and just pure spring vibes, you guys. Such a good palette. One of the best from ColourPop, and I had to talk about it in this video. I will admit, this palette inspired this video altogether because I've been waiting to feature this palette in something, and I knew I wanted it to be this video. The other one is a newer palette from ColourPop, but ever since I got it, all I can think of is spring, and that is the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon eyeshadow palette. Look at this. First of all, packaging. If you're a Sailor Moon fan, you need to own this because of the packaging, honestly. Are you even a fan if you didn't purchase this? But other than that, the colors themselves are super springy, and I love this palette for the spring. You're gonna get a very light eye, not something with a lot of dimension, but it is going to bring that bright energy that spring brings, and you also get quite a good range of different colors you can go for. You can get more of a light peachy orangey eye, you can get a golden eye, you can get coral, some berries, purples, just a whole different range of colors that I think are going to be wonderful for a lot of different types of looks. Overall, I really did personally enjoy the quality of this palette and I think it gives you a lot of room to play around because of the variety that you have in here. So even if you're not a Sailor Moon fan, I really do think it will be very useful right now. I wasn't gonna talk about it, but I still was unable to secure 
the blushes in this collection. Couldn't live without saying it, but just had to say it. Let's move on. <laughs> the next palette that we have is a quad from Tom Ford. I wore this in one of my yearly favorites video because it was one of my favorite quads last year. And this is the Tom Ford Eye Color Quad in Daydream. Of course, this is very pricey, but the shades in here, let me tell you all. I love purpley eyeshadow, so I wanted to feature it in this video because I think it is quite the appropriate time of year to be wearing this. You guys loved when I wore this palette in that video, I had so many people asking me for a tutorial and honestly, I hate doing tutorials with quads because it's just so simple, it's only four shades. This palette is so stunning. If you're a purple lover and you are into investing into a Tom Ford palette, I would recommend this one. I think the price is absolutely outrageous. If you don't have the money to go towards a Tom Ford palette, absolutely don't do it. It's definitely a treat yourself kind of palette, but I really, really, really like it. Everything applies so smooth. The shimmers in here are just so refined in a way that another brand cannot replicate. It gives you the most sophisticated purple eye, and I love this palette, and it's just so beautiful. The next palette that I have is from Charlotte Tilbury and it is the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. This again, another luxury product. In my personal opinion, if you like these tones, you are going to love this palette. So this is going to be more of a wearable rose toned palette. All of the palettes I have previously shown are very loud and bright and springy. This one is a little bit more toned down, but I think the tone is very appropriate for this springtime. You can get a very pretty peachy look. I find that these shades do pull a little bit more warm, so you're going to get more of a rosy warm tone. You're going to get more of a peachy tone on your eyelid, but I think it's a very subtle way to incorporate spring into your everyday makeup look. I love this palette. The quality in here is impeccable. Though the shades I wouldn't say are the most unique or are the most fun, they're going to work really great for you. You can't get a million looks with this because they all run in the same tone, but for every day, if this is a palette that you're looking to grab for, this is a great one. I highly recommend. I also want wanted to briefly mention the Natasha Denona Love Palette. This again is another new one. It is a luxury item as well. This is a more affordable-ish version for Natasha Denona because it is a smaller pan size, so it is half the price of her regular palettes, but you do get a beautiful range in shades. These aren't those traditional bright pastel shades that I was showing before, but this still is a fun way to incorporate a more toned down version of a lot of color into your looks. Now this palette is much more loud than the Charlotte Tilbury. If you're looking for something that is a bit more wearable, Charlotte Tilbury all the way. But this one really allows you to get creative. You have a lot of different textures in here. You can go purple, you can go peach, you can go red. There's a lot of different fun directions you can go with this palette. I think if you're going to get it, you're going to feel very inspired by the looks that you can create. And some looks you can create don't necessarily have to be springy with this palette. You can create super springy looks with this palette, which is why it's in this video. But don't feel limited by that because you can really do a lot with this palette. Palette and it's a good palette. I really wanted to mention that. The next one, I had to absolutely put it in this video. This is the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker Palette. I personally really enjoy this palette. I think it is one of the best in his brand, if I'm being honest, and I haven't had too many opportunities to speak about it, and I thought this would be the perfect video to do it. So the Jawbreaker Palette, you have a lot of different colors in here, particularly it's the top half of this palette that I'm like, spring, 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 but of course the bottom here, you have a lot of different fun pops of color. So if you are looking for a bright palette for you to incorporate a lot of colors in the spring for your makeup, I think that this is the way to go. You get so many different colors in here. You can change any shade to be pastel because there is a white in here and you can create a look with a lot of definition if you want. There's just so many directions that you can go with this palette. I personally love the quality of this palette here as well. You're going to get a full pigmentation packed look on your eyelid. All the different types of washes all over the lid that you can do. This is such a fabulous palette and I think that this is the perfect time of year to bring this palette out because it's a very unique palette, very fun, and it's a very inspiring palette, which is a big deal for me. So love this palette. And we are on to the last and 11th favorite for this video. Of course, remember, nothing was in any particular order, but I wanted to add a palette that I really felt was good for spring, but maybe you're not so into spring vibes and all of that. So this is more of a brown-based palette, but I think it's perfect, and it's an underloved palette, and this is the original ABH Norvina palette. Now, if you look into the colors here, you have the traditional pinky, rosy, and purple shades in here, but you have all of the neutral browns to kind of neutralize it. You have some golds in here, but just overall, I think 
think if you are a neutral wearer but you do kind of want to maybe surprise the world with a little bit of a pop of a spring element this is the way to go it's not overwhelming like all of the other palettes that I showed you it is friendly for everybody and even if you don't want to incorporate pink or purple into your look you have other options with this palette this palette doesn't get mentioned too much anymore but it truly is a beautiful palette and hopefully this video reminds you to pull it out if you do have it and don't use it because it is a fun one for spring don't let it fall to the back of your drawer I will be definitely putting this towards the top of my drawer now because I'm feeling excited looking at this and thinking of all the options that I can do that is all I have for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful if there are any other palettes that you are going to love for this spring and wear all of the time comment it down below so that everybody else can take a look and see what you're loving but I'm very happy with the choices that I picked out I think all of these are inspiring me to step away from my usual cool neutrals and play more with some of those brighter colors so that is all I have for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you aren't subscribed to my channel I hope you guys take the time to do so and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys have a good one